The overall goal of using a combination of micromanipulation and light microscopy techniques, such as FRAP and photoactivation, is to monitor the spatiotemporal dynamics of proteins involved in cytoskeletal regulation and migration in distinct conditions or a signaling pathway-dependent manner. The micromanipulation methods discussed here are useful for direct delivery of any type of molecule into cells, as well as for the light-induced manipulation of protein activity within defined subcellular locations. So the main advantage of the techniques presented here is that they allow determining the instantaneous effects that proteins exert on cells, together with tracking their mobility throughout the cell. To begin this procedure, Passage previously grown B16F1 cells at a 1 to 5 ratio into a 3 cm plastic dish. Aspirate the cell culture medium. Wash the cells with PBS. Aspirate the PBS and add trypsin EDTA to detach the cells. Add cell culture medium to the trypsinized cells. Resuspend and transfer the cells to falcon tubes. After this, Centrifuge at 1000 RPM for 3 to 5 minutes. After seeding the B16F1 cells into a 3 cm dish and allowing them to spread for at least 6 hours, transfect the B16F1 cells by adding a mixture of 500 nanograms of DNA construct and 1 microliter of transfection reagent in a solution containing 150 millimolar sodium chloride. For the B16F1 cells, Coat 15 mm cover slips with 150 microliters of laminin solution and incubate for one hour.